Welcome back. Here's a question for you. What is art? It's not always been what we think it is. An object, painting, or sculpture regarded as art today may not have been perceived as such when it was first made. Can it be found at a ferry terminal? It is a question a CTV News viewer brought to our newsroom and something CTV's Joe Perkins went out to investigate today. He joins us now live with what he found. Joe? Andrew, you've likely heard the saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, today, we put that saying to the test. Do you know anything about art? No, not really. Okay, what do you think of that? Oh, well, I think it looks like a watercolor. Though. Like a landscape. Looks like a landscape. It looks like trees and water in the sky. Whatever it is, it's turning heads. What do you think that would sell for? <laughs> oh, that's not the uh, Emily Carr, is it? No, it's not. It's something much different. Okay, I'll give you this one now. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Something most people don't expect. Okay, I'll give you this one now. <laughs> really? Really. The photo is of a rusty BC Ferries bumper at Swartz Bay. You see them at every terminal, but this one caught Gerald Wilson's eye. I looked out to the window and I saw this metal sheeting with this design. I thought, my goodness, there's a picture there. Just look above the barnacles and past the long stretch of rust and you'll see it. Well, to me, it's a truly Canadian scene. I mean, uh, you've, got, you've got the evergreen trees, you've got a waterfront location, you've got reflections and you've got rocks all on the most unusual canvas. But don't be fooled, this is art. Looks like it was um, a watercolor done with sponge. Like, if you could just see the, the way that it, that it smudged, this smudged across and then it's sort of like dab, dabbed in with the printing. It's highly unlikely the Queen of Cumberland or its captain were ever thinking of dabbing when docking into Swartz Bay. But Wilson's photo may have unveiled BC Ferry's artistic side. I'm, I am in no way, shape or form an artist myself. I love photography, but uh, I think it's got artistic value, yes. And he's not the only one. Yeah, should hang that on my wall? That's yeah. fantastic. Holy go. <laughs> Perfect. You can make money on this. <laughs> Serious money. Between between four and a thousand, I'd say. But the original will never be sold. BC Ferry says the bumper is staying put. Wilson says he will take a look at his discovery every time he boards a ferry. And like a true artist, he's critical. There is a gap in the middle. Uh, that white line, I'd like to fill that with trees, but uh, <laughs> that won't be happening. Unless the ferry decides to make it so. So the big question is what if anything will come of this and uh, that's the question we asked BC Ferries. We said look there is this uh, this artwork on one of the bumpers. Is anything going to happen? And uh, well you can probably guess what they said. No nothing. A lot of people uh, see artwork on bumpers and around uh, the terminal and it's something BC Ferries gets a lot. So the artwork will stay in the bumper. It's in uh, Terminal 3 I believe and it's the, the ferry to Pender Island. It, it will be there and anyone that takes a ferry Andrew can uh, take a look as they're boarding or offloading at Sports Bay. That is fascinating stuff. It actually fooled an artist. There you go. We're asking the tough questions today. <laughs> as always. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome.